I didn't feel like you wanted me to message you. That's mad. I was hurt. Hi, my name is Mim Sheikh. You may know me from presenting on BBC Radio One Extra. Destiny lived in Birmingham, I lived in London. We'd like see each other every three weeks sometimes, depending on if I was working. As soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, he's so cute. We had a lot of fun together. Like, we just laugh a lot. After six months, Destiny decided to go traveling and that's when the relationship ended. I suppose I did really want him to say, like, we can make this work while you're away. It just completely fizzled out. I thought London to Birmingham was far. Imagine, like, London to Bali, what? Hello. How are you? Oh, OK, thank you. you? A bit nervous, I'm not even going to lie. Are you? Yes. <laughs> Why did you let me leave? What, on the travels? Mm -hmm. Because you're meant to go and travel at that age. Someone shouldn't hold you back and be like, no, how dare you go? That's the worst thing for anyone to ever do. I never expected you to say, don't go, but I expected you to have said, like, oh, wait, we can do it together, or... And when I told you, there was nothing, so it was like, for me, it was like, well, what is this? Like, okay. literally, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that's how you felt. Literally, that's the first time I'm ever hearing that. I thought that was the best decision at the time. That is so bad. No way did I ever mean for her to feel as if I didn't care whatsoever. Maybe I could have communicated that in a much better way if I was to be emotionally a bit honest. I think I was probably upset, but I didn't say nothing. I was like, oh, wow, I thought this was going somewhere. And then you wanted to go, like, travelling for, like, not just, like, a week or, like, two weeks, but, like, for a very long time. I was probably like, oh, she's just ducking out after six months. If I could go back, I would probably, like, be a bit more annoyed. Yeah, you probably should have done. Your reaction mattered to how we continued when I was away and when I got back. The way that we were seeing each other was basically over a phone. Yeah. We could have still got to have known each other the same way that we were. While she was still away? Yes. But mm -hmm. we could have. Maybe I was avoiding it. Maybe. Mim definitely has difficulty speaking about his emotions. I think it's something that he has recognised now, though. So what did you learn from this? <laughs> that if I actually voiced how I actually felt... Yeah. ..the outcome would have probably been better. Mm-hmm to be more emotionally honest with how you feel. Yeah. And to communicate transparently. So they're a very good lesson. Have you moved on? Um, no, I'm not in another relationship, no. All right. The fact that she's single is a good thing. It's a really good thing. Have you moved on? And of course I haven't. So why is it taking you so long to get in touch with me? Male pride, mm -hmm. male ego. You could have the new man or something. I haven't messaged you either. Why did you not? Because of the way that we left. I didn't feel like you wanted me to message you. Bro, that's mad. I was hurt. It was like, all right, bye. So when I come back, why am I going to be like, yeah, oh? Because in your head, you're going to be like, oh, he didn't care that I was going anyway. Oh, that's so nice. Literally weren't bothered that I was going anywhere, like... Yeah, all right, so I should have, yeah, I should have communicated it. I should have done better in communicating. Mm -hmm. What's the question? Could we give it another go? What do you think? I think after having a conversation like that, it would be rude not to. Just see how things go. With better communication this time around. We can have more conversations and see how we are as people and take it from there. So you're down? I'm down. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like a school kid. What? <laughs> oh, this is mad. <laughs> so what do you want to do now? Do you want to go get a drink? Come on. I have no idea what the future holds for me and Mim. We've definitely got more of a chance of getting back together now we've been on this date. We will just have to wait and see what the universe has installed for us.
I'm really looking forward to uh, go for another drink with Destiny and seeing how things go. 110% I'm glad that I ate with my ex.